So guys, hello. In this course or video, we will start from this sphere and we will go to this, which is a concept from one guy. I will tell you his name and also I will tell you what I'm doing for my newest course, which will be in Blender for beginners character sculpting and I will show you uh, where am I now with the course and probably it will be on in the beginning of March or a little bit earlier if I'm happy or if I'm capable. So for now this head for around 30 minutes uh, from this concept it's not exactly the same but it's kind of fine so yeah let's do it. I will say, say a lot of shortcuts I will tell you a lot of things and it's quick and it's fun. Blender is amazing. So let's start. Okay, guys, how do we start in Blender? So we get this window, we click out of it and we get the cube and everything. And we just select them X and delete them. And then shift A to select, uh, add to add our sphere, which we will do. Then control tap down to go to sculpt mode. Then we turn on up there, turn on symmetry on X by clicking the X up there. Then we bring out our concept from uh, what was this pure ref of course and we start sculpting so how to start i use uh, of course my uh, pen wacom one by wacom then i press g to go to the grab brush and i start grabbing moving i have to do a few setups view here 85 is okay for portraits I press N to get rid of this menu. Then I go here, get rid of the floor. I don't need it. And now I can continue. So this is fast. I mean, uh, this the idea of this is to be fast sculpt in Blender. And maybe I will do a lot of those. Uh, this concept is from, from Patrick. Ah, Patrick. Is it Patrick? Let's see. Patrick Balanovsky. By the way, Patrick Balanovsky has amazing stylized arts. And I love him. I just love him. Uh, by the way, my newest course, which will come out in probably in a month, is for Blender beginners, how to make characters, 3D characters in Blender, my workflow. And uh, there we will make a, another concept from Patry Balanovsky. Patry Balanovsky. Or no, no, it was not from him. This time it, it's not for him, Bob, but in the future we'll do a lot of concepts from him in Blender. Since they are stylized, they are ideal for Blender. Shift R, just make sure we have R, Control R for nice geometry, smoothing with Shift, and continue working on our model. So, yeah, Blender is great for this kind of uh, fast sculpts and uh, stuff. M for masking, mask a little bit, this will be our ear. Then A, in invert mask, and then with G, I will move it. So A is a very nice short key shortcut for invert the mask or clear the mask also. So A clear mask. And sometimes I'm using the short keys very fast. So for example, if I want to add some, I will add later uh, some form for the hair, a sphere again, I will use most likely very fast control tab and left. So you see, control tab left, and I'm in object mode. I can add a sphere. Then control tab down, and I'm in sculpt mode. I can X, press X, and then move the sphere and make it a hair. If I want. I don't want now. <laughs> but still, yeah, let's leave it for now. And we continue with our character, and then we will go. So if you want to change the mesh you are working on, you have to hover the mesh and press Alt Q. This is for Blender 3.0 now. Uh, the last versions of Blender before 3.0 were a little bit different, but in 3.0, it's like this. Alt A, Alt Q is your short key for that thing, for changing meshes. Yeah. Okay, smooth. Think this is fine this is fine the nose has to be kind of like this here we can go and cut it with by the way uh, my favorite brushes in blender are 
grab brush, of course, in the beginning I use only grab brush, then the draw brush, which is the normal brush, the draw sharp brush, very nice brush, it's uh, like damn standard brush in ZBrush, of course, it's very useful. The other brush is the scrape brush, which is like high polish brush, and also pinch brush, very nice. But the most favorite brush for me is uh, the grab brush. I love it. And I can do a whole character, I think, with only grab brush. And I have to try, by the way, sometimes like a challenge to use only grab and draw brush to make a whole character, at least character's head. Why not? I'm not looking at the concept at this stage too much, although I have to start looking at the concept because I'm a little bit off here and there the ears we have to pay a little bit more attention to them because they are kind of important but uh, the last month i was working mostly with blender nothing else and i'm amazed i'm amazed this free program is just amazing i'm using it for characters and uh, i've done a lot of them i may show you in this video a few of them and uh, the character that I'm making for the tutorial, for the course, the newest course that I'm making. And it's supposed to came out in the beginning of March. Hopefully, I'll be able to finish it until then. If something doesn't happen, but I just went out of COVID, so I think we're okay. Yeah, don't worry about it. It's, uh, it's not transmittable by the microphone, so you shouldn't be, I mean, too worry about it. I don't think it uh, it can go through the microphone. Hopefully it doesn't. But the idea here is that Blender is uh, maybe one of the best uh, sculpting programs I have ever tried. And uh, there are two sculpting programs that I have tried. ZBrush is one of them, Blender is the other one, and Blender is one of the best. Yeah, the joke aside is very good pro uh, sculpting program you can do almost everything that you can do in ZBrush, but it's cheaper, a little bit, and it also, also, it's, uh, it's kind of fast. I mean, uh, it's working fast, but the idea here is that you cannot do very high fidelity models with a very high uh, poly count. It's, it will be difficult. You can, but it's um, more like it's difficult. So I will not advise you to try that, although you can try, but you will need a very, very nice video card, which nowadays we all know is kind of expensive. Yeah, if you want the, the last version of the video cards, it will cost you around uh, the for 3090, you will have to like maybe 3000 or more dollars which is kind of a lot. I don't completely like that. It's a lot. So uh, now I think we have reached the stage when I have to increase with Shift R the geometry, Control R to apply, and then I'll smooth. Yeah, I made some things, now I smooth them. Okay, it's okay uh, because it's completely fine since I don't need the jagged thing i just need the detail uh, not the detail the overall forms i need the other i don't care about that much so yeah a good video card very good with my uh 1080 video card nvidia 1080 which is a card from i think almost 60 years ago or uh, around that uh, it's it's kind of yes you can do it because it's it was high-end video card back then but now I cannot afford, I mean, I can, but it will be very, very painful to afford a, a newer video card like 380 or 390. It will be pretty painful. So I kind of don't want to do it. Now I'm using the clay strips brush, which is absolutely the same as in ZBrush clay strips, I think. I'm not sure. Clay, uh, I don't know exactly the name in, in ZBrush or because I forgot. Yeah, I already forgot ZBrush, you know, because I'm using only, only, uh, only Blender. I'm using ZBrush 
only for uh, teaching because I teach here in Bulgaria uh, one academy, ARC Academy, and I am using only ZBrush only then, only when teaching. Because I'm teaching ZBrush, yeah. But maybe soon I will start teaching Blender. No, probably not because, uh, you know, Blender is not yet industry standard and uh, ZBrush is. And people, most of the time when they have to find work in some companies, they have to know ZBrush or show a very good skill in Blender that will kind of make it uh, almost like almost ZBrush skills, ZBrush-like skills, which could be difficult for a normal uh, just beginner artist. For me, it's not that difficult. I mean, Blender is a capable program, I can do it. But I have a lot of experience making characters, which kind of makes it a little bit easy for me. For the beginners, not that much. Ears, yeah. Uh, nobody likes, and not nobody, but uh, wh what I have seen, most beginners don't like to make ears. Yes, I pressed F. Uh, by the way, F is for scaling your brush, yes. And many people are saying, why don't you press F and uh, scale your brush? I don't like that. I mean, I am a long time Photoshop and Blender and uh, ZBrush user, and there the ZBrush is, uh, the brush is scaling is done by bracket keys, the bracket keys, and I am using that now. By the way, if you're wondering what program I'm using to show my keys on screen, this is an add-on for Blender. And I uh, kind of saw it from a lot of people, but I asked Aram Tokin, if you know her. She has a YouTube channel, she's sculpting there in Blender, in ZBrush, and uh, she's pretty good. So she told me about this plugin, and I've uh, installed it, and it's free. I think it's free, at least. And by the way, if you want to know which plugin is the best for automatic retopology in Blender, Max, and any software, basically, because in ZBrush, it's called ZeriMesher, and it's uh, not a plugin, it's inside ZBrush. But the guy who wrote it is uh, the guy who made the best plugin for ZBrush also, or add-on. And uh, the add-on is called, let me see, Quadrimesher. Yeah, Quadrimesher is just uh, amazing. So, yeah, be careful. Uh, it's paid. Yeah, I know. Uh, many people who are using Blender are kind of people that want to use only free stuff, which is absolutely okay. But um, let's change the matcap here a little bit. Yes, this is nicer. But sometimes you have to just, you know, have to do it by the way now 12 minutes into the video we are kind of okay with our character it's not the best but i think it could work with a little bit more tweaking so maybe i will make it i don't know how much time i will make this video i think half an hour will be pretty good and for half an hour this could be fine of course we'll make a little bit of the hair too it's not gonna be just the bold mm, face because in the concept we have hair so i want to make hair too hair is important especially for this character the hair is pretty nice he looks like yakuza guy which uh super is super like uh, he likes his hair and uh he's very self uh, his self-esteem is very high obviously because of the hair, <laughs> mostly. And yeah, the jaw, the Adam apple, the overall form of the face, not bad. The ear, of course, should be very much smaller. So with the move brush, with a big move brush, I will make it smaller. I will push it inward. So <clears throat> one of the main mistakes that I see uh, young artists make is they are making this. No push the area of the ear inward. Don't get it out. Just push it inward. It will be better. At least it should be better. But it will. Yeah, definitely. 
So the concept, we will not be able to make it exactly as the concept, obviously. Since we don't have enough time, it needs a lot of adjustments here and there. But I think we are able, or will be, able to make something pretty interesting looking. And it's already kind of there in the interesting looking department. Yeah, the, the eyes are looking pretty bad. So I will make them as in the concept a little bit like this. And the eyes, of course, are one of the hardest parts for most people. For me too. I will admit it. It's not very easy to make eyes. But everything comes with practice. When you make like mm, three or four heads every day, suddenly you will become pretty much very, very good with uh, making heads at some point after a year or two. <laughs> yeah, I know. It doesn't uh, come in a day or a week. You have to kind of do a lot. I will make this kind of a thing in here with a P, which is my pinch brush. <coughs> I will pinch it. I'm sorry about <coughs> those things. But, you know, COVID. COVID is... Uh, <laughs> It's kind of, you know, for me, it, it was okay. I was vaccinated and stuff. I don't know if it's uh, because that or because of the vaccine or because I'm not very old. I'm like 40. So, yeah, I don't know. You cannot say. But it, it was very light illness. It was like a little bit of a long but not heavy uh, cold. But it was long, it was like uh, a week and a, a little bit more than a week I was feeling a little sick. I was not like, eh, I cannot get out of bed. It was okay, no problem, but I was feeling a little bit sick. It was not very nice. So, let's turn on uh, the hair. Let's alt Q on the hair while we are on the hair, hovering on the hair, alt Q, and then kind of try to make it work. By the way, we cannot see the hair very well. Okay, now we can. And we continue. This video is uh, kind of like the live videos of... Uh, what was this guy? Who is making... Mm, I don't remember the name. It's not Michael Pavlovich. It's a little bit older guy. Who is making uh, just the, the, those kind of stylized concepts he is making. But live on his channel. Or in Zebrush Central also, I think. Hmm, yeah, I don't uh, remember exactly, but I like this kind of idea. I may try to do the same, but in Blender, because he's doing it in ZBrush. But since I, I don't know if I will return to ZBrush again, uh, because you see, I saw that Blender uh, is pretty fast program with all the short keys and everything. It's pretty fast. So Shift R, Control R. Yeah, in ZBrush is a little bit quicker with just dragging uh, a mask outside the object but still it's pretty nice here i mean i like it i like how fast uh, blender is like when you open it it just super fast opens if you don't uh, if you don't turn on a lot of add-ons it will open like this very fast for a long time so yeah it looks pretty nice so yeah our character is kind of done. <laughs> no, it's not yet. But I will do, by the way, also the, uh, the this color probably. Yeah, why don't uh, I do the color? I think the color will be nice. How to do the color? <laughs> Let me show you my uh, a little bit of, yeah. If you want to uh, solo your your mesh, just to see one mesh that you're, you have selected, you have to press this key. You see it here. This uh, line, which is uh, like this, like this, yeah. Uh, the question mark key near the enter. You will see it. It's very, very useful key. Press it once and everything else disappears. Only your current mesh appears. Press it again and everything else appears. So I will go here, press M for my mask. I will mask this area. And of course, there are a lot of ways you can do this here in, uh, in Blender, but this is the way I do it in ZBrush, and I do the same in Blender. With Control, I kind of uh, 
get off the mask with uh, the mask okay and now i will go to <coughs> i'll remove this a little bit i will go to mask mask extract and here i will go a little bit one and this i think is okay okay now we are on this go back to sculpt mode with control tab down and then i'll have to select this one alt q uh yeah this one this mesh where is it no 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 oh we are on the mesh okay now shift but we have to go to a normal brush and shift drag okay we are not on this mesh control q uh, alt q to select it and now we have to smooth it in zbrush you can never smooth it like this zbrush doesn't work like this the smooth in zbrush don't work like this uh, so this is pretty nice and now i will retopologize it very quickly press n quad remesh remesh it on 200 for example it's okay and remesh it 200 is a little bit too much for this mesh but whatever so i will press g and move those like this and then again remesh it and you will notice we have meshes which are hidden i will delete them those are uh, the remesh here is making a copy and it's hiding the original mesh so yeah i'll do this and then i will inflate those with a big inflate brush inflate it and then i can move it with my move brush i will put back the concept which we obviously didn't do exactly but i think it's kind of close and if we want we can put also eyes just balls not real eyes we can put some balls for eyes but why not let's go uh let's do it quickly so control tab uh control tab left then shift a uv sphere and now we have to uh, kind of adjust the sphere first so i will go tab and then s to scale it g to move it s to scale it i think this will be okay g to move it if i want to go to uh to see the inside of the mesh x-ray mode alt z then g to move it and alt z g to move it and probably g to move it a little bit forward and let's see it alt z mm -hmm. probably i need to move it a little bit like this and scale it a little bit more down and g i think this will be okay and we have to adjust our mesh around it now i will press alt z again and then i will press a uh, right mouse button and shade smooth so it's it's smooth then i'll go control tap down oops oh sculpt mode again alt q if i lose my mesh like this i press home for example the home button or i can press the del button in the numpad which will not delete your mesh don't worry about it it will probably zoom in on it <clears throat> all right it looks fine and now i have to mm, either go to the eye add the mirror modifier for example i can do that and uh, this will mirror it to the other side but the other thing i may do is go here up and uh where is where xyz and then press this arrow and then symmetrize and then it will symmetrize it to the other side and then press x to have the symmetry and then go back to my original mesh the head and continue working on the head yeah and now we can go a little bit higher on the topology Control r wait a little bit and now we have how much to topology we have statistics uh 300 000 polygons and it's okay i sometimes have worked here in the three or four million polygons meshes and it's fine it's workable more than that like uh, after after six million polygons on one mesh it started to get a little bit weird and uh, a little bit laggy but uh, before that it's okay so we can work on that so it's not that bad i don't know if it's uh it's blender 3.0 and above or before that also was uh, able blender was able to kind of take this much polygons but 
in 3.0, especially with my video card, which is, I told you, 1080, uh, NVIDIA 1080, it's possible. If you have lower video card, probably it will not be possible. If you have higher video card, the, the 3000 series or the 2000 series, but uh, higher, like uh, 2080 or 2090, I don't think that 2090 exists, but uh, if it exists, if you have it, you will be better than me, definitely. Because those are very big leaps. But the three, 3000 series is amazing. And I probably will buy it someday when it uh, kind of goes down in price because now it's just wow. Yeah, I have to uh, get my uh, my Blender course, which I will show you in just a second. I have to get it working pretty well in order to be able to afford. Let's shift R, control R, and continue working with our brushes. Yeah, it's uh, it's working pretty well. I mean, yeah. Mm, and you see, I'm working in Blender pretty freely, pretty uh, fast. Why and how? Uh, because I've practiced, I told you, one month, at least four or six hours every day I've spent in Blender. I've worked in numerous uh, concepts. I just have a folder with a lot of concepts and I just work on them. Because when you work on something and you have to achieve something, it's easier. So now for this, I will go with my pinch brush and start pinching some stuff. It will just make it a little bit cleaner, I think. Pinching. Yeah, it's not exactly like the concept, but you can see it's, it's very close. It's pretty close. So this uh, color here, I don't think it's it was very necessary, but I just wanted to show you just basics, basically, how I do this stuff. So let me show you a little bit how I the the course I'm working on. It, this this is the <laughs> this is the character for the course, by the way. Uh, the mouse. The concept is this one. It's pretty cool. And uh, let's remove it and let's see. This is a basic EV render, but uh, we are haven't. I haven't made all the the lighting yet uh, as it should be. It's pretty dark, but this is the idea here. We have glasses, we have transparent materials, we have uh, we have dresses, we have uh, body, we have uh, a lot of things, and uh, it's absolutely beginner course. So uh, probably mm, intermediate users can learn some things because this is, after all, the character workflow that I built. But I may show you a little bit of the other characters that I do before that, just to practice. So this was uh, one of the characters I did for practice. I, I mean, this is the basically this the same character. Let's see, yeah. And uh, yeah. But uh, this I spent a little bit more time on it, obviously. Then let's go to another scene, like first one. Okay, this guy. So it's possible to do very nice things in Blender, you see. I, each of those characters I started from scratch and yeah, I didn't finish them. I just kind of uh, do one today, do uh, one next day. I spent like four, six hours on each one, not more. Yeah, this one came out pretty good. I've uh, modeled it. I uh, retopologized it with uh, Quadri Mesh. I rigged it and I posed it. So you see it has also a sword and it's looking kind of neat. Let's see some other guy. There are like 10 characters or something. Here I probably lost the texture since uh, in, in Blender you have to kind of save the texture separately. It's a little bit strange, but it's, it's kind of nice. Also rigged. I learned how to rig in Blender also. Yeah, this uh, doesn't have a render, but this by the way is my first mm, my first 3D print in Blender. My daughter liked the concept very much. It was just a 2D drawing, very nice. And I just uh, made it into this in Blender and then gave it to a colleague of mine to print it. And now I will have it as a toy. Mm, maybe next week I will have it and I will show you guys. And this is uh, the mouse, yeah. 
So I have a few more things that I have done, but uh, basically that is it. And this is the guy that we have made. Let's fast go to object mode. Uh, go to light, add one light, point light, press it, uh, just put it here. Go to our render, render mode, okay. And here, we'll go to the light settings, increase the light, nice. Go here, shift D, go back, this light, shift D is to duplicate, of course. I will make it sun, this, uh, this backlight, and rotate it so it's like a uh, rim light. Sun is the rim light, and uh, I don't completely like the result, by the way, in the render, but it's kind of okay. Maybe we can increase this, uh, this vantage of this light and uh, just make it further away and increase it again. And maybe we can make the sun a little bit different color, like maybe this or this. I, I like orange, by the way. Yeah, let's make it orange. And this looks decent. It's not the best, but it's fine. Let's go to Cycles Render, just to see how it will look. We don't have a camera. Of course, we'll Shift A, add the camera. Control alt 0 on the numpad and now the camera is this and if we press F12 We will see this and it will start render of course. I have <clears throat> I think I have denoiser turned on and that's why It denoised it that much that quickly, but uh, yeah for the render We need uh, a little bit more time probably to do it and EV is pretty fast and uh, also kind of good So two lights of course, if I want, I make it this bigger, so we can see the face with softer shadows or smaller for darker and uh, sharper shadows. And you should never uh, lighten your uh, your face exactly from the front, although from the front up for this guy could work a little bit better. With G, I'm moving it, of course. And from here, I like to render it, for example, like this. Why not? Maybe I will move this light a little bit more to be... Mm. It's too, too bright, by the way. I will go to 12. Now it's better. Maybe 20, it's fine. Okay. Looking good. Let's rotate it a little bit more. Yeah, I don't want uh, rim light everywhere. I don't just in certain places. And this material is not the best, but I don't want to make materials right now. Uh, so Control Shift Zero and N View Camera to Viewport. Zoom out a little bit, and we'll be okay. The camera, by the way, is uh, let's select the camera. and increase this but it's uh, kind of 68 okay I don't, I don't care that much camera to viewport let's go to the camera by pressing zero on the notepad also you can go to the camera or this icon here you can go to the camera and we are kind of done of course this will be my course uh, you will see it it will cover all the things uh, that I've covered in this video and many, many more in Blender. So, yeah, expect that. Okay, let's make a final render. Ah, something like this will be nice. Okay, bye for now and this will be it. So, I wanted just to make a quick video. Nothing too much. Just to show you that I'm alive yet. <laughs> bye for now.